In the darkest moments of World War II, as Japan threatened invasion through New Guinea, England sent 350 Matilda tanks to help our military effort. Very few made it back to Australia at war's end. Most were dumped at sea. But one was found in a Southern Highlands paddock. It's now being restored to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the battle at Fort. On a spare swatch of land at the end of a southwestern Sydney lane, is the workshop bivouac of a group of former soldiers and a tank named Ace. Supported by a heavy naval barrage, the 7th Division makes its dramatic landing in Borneo. In the final days of World War II, Ace led 50 Matilda tanks at the Battle of Balak Papa in Borneo, one of the last of the war. It certainly took part in the what is to this day Australia's largest ever armoured assault. But when the cannons stopped barking, all but three of the tanks were destroyed. Ace and his two mates returned to Australia to eventually be sold to the farmers. Tractors were almost impossible to get hold of after the war, so the farmers would take the turrets off and use the track capability on the land. More than 50 years on, and that's where Ace would be found, fortuitously neglected in a Southern Highlands paddock. Ace mummified by nature. The oil that came out of the gun leaves as it uh, um, dissolved in the water formed an oil base, film it on the top, and um, what oils that were inside the components floated to the top and sealed it off, acting like a um, barrier to the atmosphere. That gum leaf sarcophagus has meant that Ace has had a second chance of life in the hands of the fellas from the New South Wales Lancers Memorial Museum, even if there was no owner's manual. The original company that manufactured all their um, uh, paperwork and drawings, um, which I've tried to get from England, are gone. But for a few days a week over the last few years, the more than 22 tonnes of ace has been gradually resuscitated. Oh, geez, you wouldn't want to get your fingers caught in that one, Marge. No, no, you've got to keep your head forward when you uh, open it and head back when you close it. It's solid steel, so armoured steel, so uh, fingers give way to steel. And eventually, the plan by this July is to have Ace rolling on his tracks for the anniversary of the battle that he led, 70 years on. Once we have the radios and the engines rolling, we can select the gear and hopefully it will uh, gently back out that way and uh, drive it up the top of the hill. Well, mate, better get working then. Thank you very much. Mate, you were using it before. <laughs> very inelegantly, may I say. Mike Dalton, nine years. Yeah.